Welcome back to uh, Building Titanic. This is uh, intended to be the last building episode and uh, well then we'll uh, make the then we'll make a tour. But well uh, well now we're building it. I started with uh, logging in, I uh, made some of the deck in itself and uh, extended the uh, fireman's uh, staircase. Then uh, I uh, added some fireman's sleeping cabins in the front, because, well, they all sleep in the bow. Then, uh, well, anyways, I made the uh, markers for uh, Scotland Road. If you don't know what that is, it's a long corridor that ran almost the entire ship. Uh, so Langith and uh, crewmen slept there, so they had easy access to the whole ship. So, uh, well, the bow section of uh, the E-deck was uh, hard, because they uh, didn't think about uh, trying to make it uh, have any sense. It's just weird. So, well, uh, eventually I uh, succeeded. Uh, I started on Scotland Road while making the bow part. Then I extended the second in the funnel, I made some more deck, and uh, made the stair under the last grand stair. Then, shockingly, more deck! Who could have guessed? I started on some rooms for the third class, uh, I, uh, I uh, made some first class room outlines and filled in the walls. I fixed uh, the starboard windows, uh, I gave the room's interiors and uh, logged off. When I logged back on, I made a bunch of crew sleeping cabins uh, on Scotland Road. Then I extended the third inner funnel and main for deck. Then uh, there was an open space for the engines, because, uh, well, they were really big. Uh, I don't know exactly how big they were in uh, normal measurements, but uh, to Americans I do know it's uh, three stories tall. And uh, then I uh, made more crew cabins. I made a bunch of second class rooms. Uh, when I was done I made more crew cabins. Then I struggled a bit with the windows and uh, logged off. When I looked back on I made some outlines. Uh, and uh, a lot of third class rooms, and uh, then the E deck is done. When logging on, I made uh, some deck. I made a highest layer of uh, red uh, black instead, because, uh, well, the G, the G deck needed windows, but it would look weird if the windows touched the red, so I lowered it, but. Uh, Anyways, I made uh, some fireman cabins uh, and started on a uh, third class area. I extended the first inner funnel and uh, made a squash racket horde for the first class. That's for some that uh, is for some reason inside the third class area. Then I gave the grand staircase uh, some carpet like at the highest level because they had like uh, they they had cool uh, floors there and I wanted to replicate it. Then I finished the third class area and uh, logged off. I logged on, big shocker right, and uh, made the first uh, class pool and the Turkish bath complex. This was uh, modified from IRL due to my grand staircase being too far forward. Uh, any normal person would probably have uh, moved it, but I'm not a normal person, I'm lazy. So uh, I gave some glow squids who appeared in the pool uh, some uh, very creative names. I made the uh, third class dining room, and I made uh, the enclosement for the engines, and uh, the third class kitchen. Oh, what the... Um, uh, then I made some crew cabins, uh, I made a bunch of second class rooms, I made, uh, si I made six third class rooms in the very end, and uh, now the F deck is done. These two decks only have space in the bow and the stern of the ship, so they have the same section of the video. 
I made the pool smaller and the shallower to make room for the, like the, uh, well I don't know what it is, but I'll uh, talk about that later. I added some windows, I made more fireman cabins, uh, I made uh, some third class rooms uh, and uh, decorated the storage area. Um, I made uh, the mail sorting room. I went uh, to the stern and made the food storage room. I added some third class rooms and uh, now they are locked back. I, uh, I made uh, the forward uh, deck room. I made two cargo holds. These are sadly inaccessible, because uh, you know this uh, box? Well, that was the uh, cargo was loaded into that, and it's supposed to go all the way down, but uh, it uh, isn't, because, uh, well, I was stupid. So, uh, well, you can't get there. But I made the cargo-like room thing and uh, the mail uh, room. I made the off-deck room, I made uh, the food storage area, and uh, now there's only one thing left on the boat. You might have thought about why the G-deck and Orlock deck was uh, smaller. It's because of this. The tank top uh, is one of, if not the biggest challenge of the build. Big engines, spoilers, weird things, and uh, all of them lack proper measurements as far as I know. I started with the double bottom that makes the tank top itself. I made the coal bunker and uh, the fireman's passage, uh, or whatever it's called, uh, and some uh, cargo rooms. I made the first boiler and uh, the rest of the sixth boiler room. Then I struggled for a while with the thing that leads uh, the smoke from the boilers to the funnels. The design was uh, bad so I logged off to think about uh, how to do it. When I logged back on I knew what to do. This design isn't accurate uh, to real life but I don't really care so just uh, go with it. I made uh, two more coal bunkers. I made some boilers uh, in boil boiler room 5 but misplaced them. So I put some TNT on them and expected a small controlled boom. Not a boom that boomed all its way up to the Turkish path. So well, I repaired the damages and uh, put the boilers on the right place. I finished uh, the first inner funnel and uh, made some coal bunkers. I finished uh, the rest of the boilers uh, pretty unlevelly. I made uh, the first two engines that I don't know the type of. Uh, I made the uh, steam pipes from the boilers to the engines and uh, the third uh, turbine engine that powered the middle propeller by, by leftover steam. Then I made the generators and uh, now the tank top is done. Now you might be thinking, what the fuck, aren't you done? And the answer is no, since I made a mistake on the A deck. The promenade is supposed to stick out uh, over the sides, so I, fixed it, so I fixed it and now it's time. All this time, all this effort has led up to this. This drained my motivation to continue. Thank you, Thomas.
we're done. We have built Titanic in Minecraft. Five-year-old me will be proud. Subscribe!